Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today we'll be reviewing a couple of Ghostbusters items. A Ghostbusters Proton Pack. And a Ghostbusters Answer the Call 2016, Elijah Gates. But before we get on to the review, we're going to say what we're going to be up to starting next couple days from now. We are going on our toy hunt the next couple days. We'll be hitting up three locations, one day toy hunting. We're hitting up the... Five Below and GameStop and the Huge Ollies out in Monroeville. If you look forward to that toy hunt as much as I do, please make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to comment and subscribe for more videos like this. I appreciate it. But now, on to the review. First and foremost, we got the Proton Pack. With the Proton Blaster, which you point it and you... And snare ghosts with it. But it's a blow up so it doesn't light up or anything. Got some nice mechanical detail. For the proton pack. Turn it around. You got some straps. You can strap it on your back. But this copy is too big for me to wear. Unless I added some extra straps to it or something. I would really have to add some extra straps. Or find a way to make it longer. If I can make it longer, it'd be a worthwhile thing to wear on a Halloween with a Ghostbusters theme jumpsuit style. If I can wear it, we're going to do a video with it. I'm going to see if I can modify the two straps here. Maybe I can wear it and put it on Facebook on the Goody Will Gang of me wearing my Proton Pack. Wouldn't that be nice, right? We'll see. But that's all there is to say for the Proton Pack. Now we're going to get on to our Elijah Gates action figure from Ghostbusters 2016, Answer the Call. And it comes with the Build-A-Figure pieces. Got a nice Ghostbusters insignia on the box. Ghostbusters. Elijah Gibble. And the other line of figures has got to collect. We have these two, which technically we got two of them. Got the one with the legs. We're missing the arms for the other figure I got. We're missing number three and number four to build this build a figure. But for now, it is what it is. Well, that's all there's to say for the packaging. Let's take our figure out of the box and show off the feet. When you get the rest of the Build-A-Figure, you build a ghost. And yeah, right now it's incomplete. Feet can move for the Build-A-Figure parts. Just so I don't lose them, they're going straight in the box. Because you know me, I will lose them. Wondering how much did we pay for this? Well, there's a price tag on here. We paid five bucks for this. So not bad for a five buck figure. If the exchange ever gets these two in, I can finally complete the build a figure. And if I get another one of her mitt in the box, I'll just keep her in the box and get the build a figure parts out. Other than that, that's all there is to say for the packaging. Here she is, Eliza Gates. Articulation, she's got knee bend, some ankle. Movement, pivot, no ankle tilt, but yeah, you can get her some, to some running poses. Arms on a hinge, ball jointed shoulders. Head is not on a ball joint, so doesn't move. Arms are really articulated, hands move. Now we're going to get her willed in the Proton Pack. She's wearing. She can hold on to the Proton Pack beam. 
Be like, take this, ghost. And yeah, I love this figure. I love that I paid five bucks for it. It'd be nice if the Monroeville Exchange had the other two. But I was only able to get this one. I'm still missing the other two. But now for comparison, before we end this video, here we got the other 6 2016 Answer the Call Ghostbuster. If I can get her to hold her blaster, her proton pack blaster. And here we got two out of the four Answer the Call Ghostbusters. Do I have plans to get the other two? Yes, if I can find them. And the Build-A-Figure pieces, the Build-That-Ghost. But other than that, this is a worthwhile set to collect. I think they really got really well sculpted and painted figures. The Proton Packs are really done nicely. They don't come off, I'll tell you that much, unless you break them off. But other than that, good looking. But now, for one last comparison... Next to these two, before we end this video, we're going to dig out another Ghostbuster from my collection I have in posable form. Here we got Ray from the original Ghostbusters. Yes, I have a posable version of Ray, but I don't have the rest of the team. It'll be on my goal set to get a posable team one of these days. But are these Ghostbusters 2016 Answer the Call figures worth it? Yes, they are a lot of fun to mess around with, and really good good sculpts, and really well articulated. I highly recommend these to any Ghostbusters fan. I know the movie didn't do too well, but otherwise, these figures are awesome. Their Ghostbusters suits are awesome, almost like an homage to the original Ghostbusters movies. But other than that, I highly recommend these Ghostbusters Answer the call, girls. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. But before we move on and rock out, like I said earlier, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to comment. And now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out, YouTube land.